What's going on YouTube? You're watching Grim TV, and in today's video, I'm taking a look at the recently released indie game called Teardown. Teardown was officially finished earlier this year. The sandbox puzzle and action game developed and published by Tuxedo Labs. The game features levels made entirely of destructible voxels. It's pretty much like Minecraft, but with a lot better physics. Each mission features a set of objectives to be completed within one minute. However, some of the objectives are just as simple as gather three items and escape. My objectives in this mission were to destroy two safes in the water and to destroy one building located over on the waterfront that you'll see here in a bit. But again, certain ones will have time limits on them. So that way you have to destroy certain walls early into the level so that way when you do start grabbing your objectives then you can grab all your objectives in one swoop and get out in under a minute so it's sort of like planning heists or planning schemes in a destructible environment the campaign consists currently of 40 missions with varying objectives that are relatively simple but great fun destroy safes, collect valuables, etc. The challenges consist of alarms if too much damage is done or if a fire spreads too far, as well as the timer. The minute timer makes some of the missions very interesting because they'll put objectives purposefully separated a great distance from one another so that way you have to really plan and calculate how you're gonna get from one area to the next and is there a way that you can do it simply because no one's going to play this game the same way i'd be very surprised to put two players on the same level and see them do the same thing which is part of the fun of this game the base game's content is great and would rally a 20 dollars purchase as is however i think much of this game's potential comes from the modding side of things So if you've ever thought about slamming your favorite colored Lamborghini Countach into the front door of that pesky hardware store down the street, well, now you can do that. Mods allow players to create things like maps, assets to be placed on maps, new weapons, new abilities. You can have fly mode or god mode or different vehicles the the vehicles and the weapons to me are most exciting because you can have things like a lamborghini countage in this game or toyota forerunners or airplanes uh helicopters the the boundaries are really endless in this it feels like based on what your computer can handle obviously but the creators on the modding side of things have just been going nuts. There's tornado mods that'll rip apart cities. Planes will blow up in midair and crash on cities. There's, there's a lot of potential for the modding side of this game. And I wanted to make a video to show everybody what exactly this game's all about. Because I feel like it's kind of flying under the radar right now. But there is a little bit of a cult following behind it due to it being an early access game on steam for a while but now it's in its full release and they're still supporting it great and to see the creator community that this game has fostered and built up on its own it's it's really exciting to see where this game goes teardown is currently only available for microsoft windows and I believe you can only download it through Steam currently. The mods are accessed through the Steam Workshop, and all the mods that I've seen for this game are completely free, which is really impressive considering the quality of some of these mods. It's nice to see a, a strong community backing for it. hard to believe that slamming three different boats into three different houses is technically part of completing the mission in this mission here but yeah it was and uh 
a big part of it is to just have fun while you're destroying stuff and completing the simple objectives in this game, right? That's that's the whole fun of it is it's not some serious objective and it can be done in X amount of different ways, right? What I find super impressive about this game is the durability of the structures and the vehicles and the way that they wear down in a realistic manner. Even given that the graphics aren't that great, it still gives the perception of real wear and tear when you're crashing into things or destroying things, using vehicles and slamming into walls, that sort of thing. I think the overall destructibility of vehicles and environments in this game is going to give way to a lot of interesting game modes, maps, even abilities and weapons that will end up being created. I've already seen things like gravity guns or laser beams that can cut buildings in half and all kinds of different weapons and mods that are outside of the base game that the like i said earlier the potential just seems endless in terms of playability and what creators can continue to create definitely have a lot more footage of mods in this game coming at you guys here in the near future I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and learning about Teardown like I have recently. If you did, definitely be sure to download it yourself. Smash that like and subscribe button so you can stay tuned for the future Teardown content I'll be making. And yeah, I hope that you guys support this smaller developer. And enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I'm out. Peace.